All right, so I just got these uh, wheels and tires delivered, and I just ordered, I ordered these offline. So these are a 15 by five inch wide trailer tire, or trailer wheel. And they look, yeah, I think they have a really cool looking style to them. They're kind of a black with a milled face. Now, I ordered these uh, tires from a separate uh, so, uh, website, Trailer King RST, their size is 205, 75, 15. Now, before I take these over to the tire store to get them mounted up, I need to just try these on the, the trailer just to make sure they're gonna fit. Okay, so the wheels are going on this trailer here. This is my black cargo trailer. It's a 16 foot long, seven foot wide. So it came with these wheels, these white wheels. Uh, one of the tires has like a, a bald spot where the last the guy I bought it from says he, he slammed on the brakes, he had the gain set too hard, and it put like a flat spot. So I'm replacing all four of the, the tires and I figured I'd upgrade the wheels. Now, these white steel wheels that come on this, it's just a five lug pattern, but they're a five inch wide. Now, I'm gonna try to see if I can show you how. So from the inside, there's not a lot of space here. I wanna just show you on the, um, let's measure this. Okay, so to the side of the trailer to the tire, it really is less than two inches of clearance. Now these are, these white wheels are 15 inches in diameter, but they're also five inches wide. Now a lot of these aluminum wheels that you can get, these aftermarket wheels that you can put on your trailer, a lot of them are, are six inches wide. This one I found, this was probably the only one I found that was a five inch wide. And the reason I went with the five inch wide is just because of the clearance here. I didn't want to go, I didn't want this poking out any closer to the trailer. There's really barely a hand width of spacing between that. So I didn't want to I didn't want to have any rubbing issues on the trailer. So I just wanna I just wanna take off a wheel. I'll take off this wheel here and mount on the wheel just to make sure the bolt pattern's good, make sure it's gonna clear and everything before I get the tires installed on it. So uh, just kind of do a test fit. So I'm gonna jack this up and get that, that swapped on. Okay, I'm just using the axle, this rear axle, to jack this up right here. Okay, the wheel's on, this, the bolt pattern's good, it's sitting there. You can see there I've got how much clearance when the tire's on, it'll bulge out a little bit, but uh, one thing that was interesting too is, even though this is a 15 by five inch, so the five inch is the width of the rim, the load carrying capacity, which is about 2150, so 2150 pounds, it's the exact same as the six inch wide one. So even if, even the ones that are about a inch wider, you're not gonna get any more weight carrying capacity out of that. So that's why I went with a five inch wide. I wanted to just, I wanted to make sure that this was going to clear I didn't want any rubbing issues on the on the actual box of the trailer, and that's what's actually and that's what the white ones are, anyways. They're a 15 by five, so I figured I'd match that up and make it so that there's no fitment issues at all. So let's see they fit up. I'm gonna run these over to Discount Tire. We'll get them mounted up. All right, just got back from Discount Tire. They got the uh, wheel and tire mounted and balanced up on all four of them. And now I'm ready to swap these on. So here's the factory wheel. Here's our new wheel and tire. So tire size is gonna be the same. 205, 75, 15. And the rim, the rim is the same dimension, but uh, much better looking wheel. I think it looks great. On this black trailer, it's gonna look really good, so. Okay, for lug nuts, I'm using these locking ones they have a spline drive so that way that you have to use a special key in order to take them off but the size of these lug nuts we're using one half dash 20 so it's half inch slash 20 or dash 20 thread size on these that's pretty universal with most trailers like a five lug trailer axle is this size of lug nut i wanted to make sure that i, I wanted to use a closed ended one so that way you know on these open on these open one 
you know, corrosion can develop between because water's getting in, in there. I wanted a closed end like that, and also you want to make sure you get them that's longer, that's long enough that they won't bottom out. If you get too short of one, it may not reach, you know, the end of this wheel stud might hit the end of the lug nut here and it may not be able to properly seat all the way. So you want to make sure you have one that's long enough to accommodate the wheel stud size. And these ones, these ones will stick out a little bit, but I think it's going to, I think they'll work just fine. We'll see how they look after I get them on there. Okay, so the wheels and tires are mounted on. If you can see here, the lug nuts, they do stick out a little bit. Here's a kind of a side profile. They stick out a little bit. Um, if I was to do it again, I'd probably get a little bit shorter of a lug nut, just so it doesn't stick out as much. It's not as obvious, but I think they look pretty good. I really like how they look. It really matches, you know, I have this galvanized fender and the black finish on the trailer, and it kind of matches that on the wheels. So I'm gonna hook it up to the truck and take it for kind of a test spin and see how they see how they kind of handle The trailer handled great. There was no vibrations. The, the wheels looked great. They handled great. I, one thing I need to remember to do, this is with all aluminum wheels when you put them on you know, a new vehicle or a trailer, I just need to retorque them down after about 50 to 100 miles that can they can work themselves loose. So I just got to torque them down. I've got them torqued about 100 foot-pounds. And so I'll just check those, and I'm good to go. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out the links in the description. If you're interested in you know these wheels or with the tires or so forth so uh, feel free to leave a comment in the description hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one thanks